Hi fellow Swinburne students. I thought I'd quickly just show you what I do here at Possum Observatory, uh, a privately owned observatory here in New Zealand, um, to create images. I'll quickly show you about calibration, how to create a master bias, dark and flat using Maxim DL5. Maxim is a fantastic um, image processing and image acquisition um, program. It costs about probably about six, uh, $550, $600 from um, OPT, Ocean Photographic and Telescope in the States. If you get the Pro version, you can actually operate a CCD camera and also do use it for a DSLR camera. Uh, excellent program. Um, then we'll calibrate and kernel filter the images to clean them up. That's the um, sublights. Then we'll combine the sublights to make the clear sublight image and then the red, the green and the blue sublight images. We'll combine the clear red, green, blue images to create the TIFF image and then I'll quickly open it up in Photoshop um, to give you a demonstration about how to use levels, curves, etc. Okay, so um, now the telescope that I'm using is this here. This is my um, uh, 14 inch 35 centimeter um, f10 advanced coma free Schmidt Cascarine telescope made by Mead and it's on a um, power mount ME mount. Um, I live about 15 kilometers to the, away from Gisborne, which is basically behind me out to the east. Um, Gisborne is so I have a dark rural sky, so I'm very lucky. Um, now, to take the flats, what I've just done is I put a t-shirt over the end of my telescope and have this light here shining on the wall and basically um, the, the, I expose the camera to take the flats and adjust the settings so that they have a count of about 20-25 thousand counts. Um, I think the next photo shows the end of, end of the telescope covered with the t-shirt. So um, so that's how I took the the flats. Normally I do sky flats but f because it's cloudy today I just wanted to show you another way um, and that's by using the white t-shirt method. So um, so we'll just pause there. Hi, I've logged into my um, observatory, um, TUI observatory, and you can see that at the moment I'm taking flat field exposures using that lamp set up um, with the white t-shirt over the end of the um, Schmidt Cassegrain and it's just taking, going through and taking the various flat field images um, and you can see this one here uh, this is the clear filter, two, two times two binning um, and here's the information here about the cooler and, and so on, how, how cool it is um, this is minus 20 degrees Celsius so that's how we're getting the frames. Basically I went through and just set up per script and so it's taken all the clears, reds, greens, blues um, and so on at different binning um, using the setup. We've gone through and at the telescope taken um, calibration images. One we've done the flats and put a, um, a t-shirt over the end of the telescope and pointed it at a wall that was illuminated by a lamp and we've gone through and taken all the various um, filtered images like the green, um, rattan, um, blue, red, clear and so on and so we've made this, these um, flat, flat um, calibration images and I've also gone through and done some dark, made some dark Im images, taken some dark images and also bias images and now what I'm going to do in Maxim is basically um, combine all these calibration images to create um, master calibration images which we then use to calibrate the master, well, the sublights of the actual target that we're, pho we're photographing. So what I'll do is open up Maxim DL and I'll go through and go set calibration. Now. I'm just going to point the folder to where all the um, calibration images are and here they are here sitting here and we'll go auto generate. 
And so what Maxim is doing now is it's going through all of all the fits headers and, and knowing, finding which are the dark images at 2x2 two two binning, um, which are the dark ones at you know 3x3 three three, uh, for 2 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes or whatever. Also it's going through and figuring out which are the bias frames and also which are the um, which are the flat field frames and it's, it's putting all those Im individual types of images into um, folders and here they are here these are the folders here and um, here's all the 2x2 two two bias frames here's all the 10 minute dark frames um, the 2 minute dark frames at 1x1 one one binning and so on now what you can do is go through and go replace with master filters uh, with masters and it'll go through Maxim will go through and basically combine all these um, calibration images of say t um, one by one and it'll create a master dark and it also actually goes through and creates the bias which it then uses to um, the bias subtract the darks and also bias subtract the flats so that the darks and the and the flat that you get are nice and calibrated now this will take a long time so we'll actually just pause this okay so what Maximus has done is it's gone through and um, combined all the different um, calibration images and it's come up with a master image for each you know dark bias, flat and so on. And now now we've got these we can actually go through and calibrate um, some images so um, I'll just pause there. Okay now we've got, a, got our master um, bias, darks, flats and so on the calibration f images that we need we can go through and calibrate um, our images. Now you can see here with this galaxy, these, um, this, this image of measure 65 and 66, part of the Leo triplet, two thirds of the Leo triplet, um, how noisy it is. If you, if you can look, you can see all these little white speckly parts. Those aren't stars. You can see stars are a lot bigger. These are actually noise, cosmic ray strikes, and other unwanted impurities on the actual. In the actual image so we go through and we use our calibration data to remove um, these hot pixels and so on now to do this um, you just go control Q and um, what we can do is we can record um, something and then we can play it back over multiple images so we'll record this so we'll go recording and for the process um, we'll just go calibrate and you can see those star, uh, those hot pixels and so on have disappeared and now what I like doing is going through with the kernel filter and removing any dead pixels you can, I don't know if you saw but little dead pixels over the galaxies disappeared and then using the kernel filter again um, uh, removing any hot pixels okay um, so we'll just go okay that's it and now we'll actually apply this to um, the files that need to be calibrated and I think these are them here and we'll make a subfolder called measure 65 66 and those will be where the calibrated Im images then go so let's start And what it's doing, Maxim DL is doing, is going through and calibrating um, all the various images and so on. Now, just for the sake of time and file size, well, look here. See the see the little black ones? They disappear with the dead pixel. Okay, so to save time, what we'll do is we'll just pause the video here. So what Maxim has done now is it's gone through and calibrated the, and we can see here um, that here's our calibrated images now sitting in this fol folder here measure 65 and 66 um, and actually what we can do is we'll just um, close that close that uh, no we don't and we'll open up um, say let's see where's a clear image
Now this is an image that has been calibrated and we'll open up a pre-calibrated image Now is it clear? I think it's that one there and what we can do is we can go view, animate, add all, OK and you can actually see um, the before and after version of the um, of the calibration. You can see here's a couple of um, columns, um, and the calibration pretty much effectively removes those. And you can see the hot pixels, um, the cosmic ray strikes, and all that. They've also been removed as we calibrate them. Okay, so next we'll go through and we'll combine the clear red, green, and blue images.